beautiful people, my name is Nestaku and welcome back to the final part of Witchwood. We did it guys, we survived a whole nother series. This will be the final episode, I will be doing the stag and then we'll see where the game takes us afterwards. But yeah, we did it, I don't know, I'm very happy. It's a bittersweet moment for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this series, and I hope you're excited for the next one. And if you hated this series, then I hope you're excited for the next one too. And you don't have to see any more Witchwood thumbnails again. Um, if you have any other suggestions for what I should do next, I know right now I think I plan on just continuing Mi Sao and um, Mi Sao, and we'll might we're gonna do Wolf Among Us. But if you have any other suggestions, just leave a comment below. I'll definitely take a look at it and not take six months to do it. But let's see. We already kind of started on the stag accidentally when we were trying to do the hawk. So we have to find the buck on the mountain. And is he the buck? Are you the buck? You're so cute and elegant. Oh, look at him. Stay back, spirit. I have nothing you want. Just keep your wits about you, boy. I'm just an old woman. Oh, so you are. My apologies. One can never be too careful traveling about the mountainside. Plenty of tricksters like to disguise themselves and play pranks on me. I meant no disrespect. None taken. What are you doing out in the cold anyway? I've come to collect ice berries for my brother's coronation. He's going to be crowned king of the whole realm today. King? According to whom? Uh, well, according to him, I suppose? He is the eldest, after all. He says it's his destiny. Some days. I'm not so sure, though. I feel like I should be doing more than just tending to the castle's gardens. So he gets to be king, and you get to pick berries till your fingers fall off. It's not so bad. I like the crisp air and fresh snow. There's something magical about the wilderness. Ah, but listen to me, Pradalon. I, need, I still need to collect the ice berries my brother requested. He's very particular when it comes to, well, anything really. <laughs> Aww. A job shared is done twice as quickly. Let me help you before you th fr the frost bites. Why, thank you. I'm getting a bit chilly. I only need a few more ice berries. Oh, we're just gonna pick some berries. Oh, wow, we already, <laughs> we're almost there. We're gonna pick some berries. I already like this guy. So easy, so simple. Is this Dreamlight Valley? All right, here you go. <laughs> Any luck finding those ice berries? Yes. Ah, just look at the wonderful bounty you've gathered. He gladly takes the berries from you and places them in his pack. It was no problem at all. The stroll, though, the stroll through the brisk air was quite refreshing. If only my brother cared as much for the beauty of this place. He's always been content staying amidst the nobles of his court. I should like to meet this brother of yours. He sounds like quite the ruler. Well, why didn't you say so? I'd be happy to invite you into the castle. The buck slips his arm out towards you in a gentlemanly fashion. You take it with your gnarled claws and nod. Aww! Let's be off then, shall we? That's so cute! The prince is an accepting peasant complaints. Scat, you old crow. How dare you speak to my guest with that one? Oh, is that what it said? Apologies, sir. I didn't know she was your guest. Don't apologize to me. I'm not the one you disrespected. Right, uh, I'm sorry, miss. What I meant to say was, uh, welcome to the court of the magnificent and benevolent stag. <laughs> Louder and with more pomp, please. I hereby welcome thee, lady of the, um, the swamp. <laughs> lady of the swamp to celebrate with us on this most auspicious day, the bequeathing of the kingdom to he whose antlers reach to the hithermost clouds and shine with justice and... That will do just fine. Carry on guarding. <laughs> right. <laughs> the buck turns to you and nods to his pack. I've got to prepare these berries for the ceremony and do some final pruning in the hedge maze. I'll meet you inside. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. The frick was that attitude before. On your way, then. On your way, loser. Nerd. Oh. Hello. What's this? Might as well get busy with it. Oh, just sticks. Well, I could use some sticks. Oh, and mushrooms. Ooh. It is cold up here. What's the point of a fountain if it's just gonna freeze? Oh, look at this! Hello! Oh. 
Sitting upon a lofty throne, the prince looms over his court of nobles. Not too many tiny cakes. They can't outnumber the tarts. And where is my useless brother with those berries? Everything must be perfect for my coronation. I think I saw him slink off to the garden, sire. No doubt shrinking his royal duties once again. In great, I do ever so much for that little rascal, and he doesn't even bother to show me the respect I deserve. I should have him I should have I should have had him exiled long ago, if only he weren't my brother. Oh, what a prude. A fantastic idea, your grace. He'll be shown the door as soon as the ceremony is concluded, I assure you. Ha! My days of sharing the throne with that dandelion are almost over. It is best he lives out his days on the mountain. Lord knows it's where he belongs. Stag's eyes narrow suspiciously at the cluster of nobles. Speaking of my brother, have you three taken care of the statue in the hedge maze? Oh, uh, yes, your majesty, just as he requested. Don't worry yourself, my lord. The nobles exchange hurry whispers, but you can't hear them clearly. I wonder what all the fuss has to do with that a measly statue. Something doesn't feel right. Perhaps I ought to take a look at it myself. Oh, look at him! Wow, look at you, your highness! Everything must be go perfectly. Yeah, you have perfect antlers, perfect hat. I get it, you're a perfectionist. Look at your tarts, look at the food, look at the pig. Cool, yummy. <gasps> look at the chest. Yes, please. Ooh, got milk, got salt. Lovely, doubly. All right, I'm off. Praise the stag. What are you going to say? These petite fours are to die for. Oh, really? We're really living the best of times. Who invited her? Excuse you? <laughs> All right, fine, I'm off. I don't want to be with you losers anyways. Have fun in your little prude party. Oh, this is the maze. Ooh, ooh, a chest for me. Yes, please, more goodies. So I don't have to run away everywhere. Now, where would this statue be? Oh, look at him, he's so cute. Don't mind me, just taking care of some last minute pruning. He's adorable! I love his little sack of flowers! Oh, is that the statue? Oh, well this looks like the brother more than anything. What is this? The stag statue. At the foot of the marble statue is a cracked and weather-beaten plaque. You wipe snow from the engraved slab and find that large chunks have been hewn away from it. Only a few words are still legible. Stag. Rightful heir and ruler. Revealed. Oh. Hmm. The choice of words is quite convenient for our royal aspirant. I wonder what the rest of the story has to say about the matter. You pick a tuft of colorful fur caught on the statue's raised hoof. Uh, it looks to be from a very expensive piece of clothing. The nobles of the court seem to have nothing but time on their hands. Perhaps some of them know the secrets of this statue. Plaque pieces. The marble plaque waits to be made whole. Ooh, we're gonna go gossip with some nobles? Oh, diddly do, that sounds like my type of tea. Piece together the statue's plaque, interrogate the nobles of the court. Oh, I'll interrogate, all right. I got little claws. I'll use my claws if I need to. Where are they? Let's go with the one that was mean to me. Yeah, you, with the sparkles. Okay. Sorry, hold on. It's a very big piece of furniture. Can I not talk to you? Oh, maybe I need a truth serum. Disaffected nobles, absolutely convinced that they deserve everything they've stolen. Oh, the stag. A particularly ostentatious princely type. Bears a striking resemblance to the gardener he keeps. Oh, well, that's his brother. All right, how do we make a truth serum? We need my foot. We have to go out. So I need to make this. Okay. And then we need unveiling powder. Do I need to- I need to make three of them, I bet. Shoo! Okay, so let's make two more of these. One, two... I don't even remember if I ever caught a crow before. And that means we need two more unveiling powders. Oof, barely enough vines. Yikes! I don't even remember how to get vines. I think they're in the swamp, maybe. Okay, there's no teleporter, like, around here. I have to walk all the way back. Oh, fine. Let my little feet take me. 
All right, let's use the true serum. Here you go. You first, because you're mean. Oh, a noble woman snaps her fingers at you as you pass by. You there, freshen up my wine. Nodding politely, you dip your syringe into her glass and squeeze out a good amount of purple liquid. She sips it with her nose high in the air. There's a broken plaque in the hedge maze. What do you know about it? The plaque? It's the last time I help out the stag. I'll tell you that much. He was whining about a prophecy or some such nonsense. Told me to get rid of a piece of that plaque for him. I tore off my finest winter muff trying to get a trying to get to grips with the damnable thing so i left it under the big tree in the middle of the hedge maze you snap your fingers and the noble woman makes a disappointed frown she pulls up her collar in a huff and rejoins the party as if nothing happened oh okay all right i guess you're next you slather a cracker with liver pate and drizzle some skintling ser skintillating serum over top Ugh. Soon enough, a noble man licks his lips and indulges himself. What do you know about the statue in the hedge maze? The nobleman scratches his chin absent-mindedly. Absent oh, you mean the one the stag smashed up? I'm not really supposed to talk about it, but... He told me to get rid of some chunk of marble. Terrible heavy thing. Anyway, I just left it behind one of the wooden benches in the maze. Did he really expect me to lug it all the way out of the castle? You snap your fingers, and the nobleman immediately goes back to snacking as if nothing had happened. Alright, so we have to center the maze, wooden bench, this is gonna be a mess. You stick your syringe into a plump mac macaron and offer it up to the nearest nobleman on a silver platter. He pops it into his mouth without even looking at you. The broken plaque in the hedge maze, would you happen to know anything about it? The noble's eyes flutter as, and they speak as if conversing with themselves. Can you believe the audacity of the stag? He broke it! He should have been the one disposing the pieces! Well, I couldn't be bothered to do such a menial labor. Can you imagine? Ugh. So anyways, I just tossed my piece into the southeast corner of the maze. Next time, he should get some of the servants to do his dirty work. You snap your finger at the noble. They sneer at you for a moment before returning to their wine as if nothing had happened. Okie dokie! We got lots to find in the maze. So, we need to find a wooden bench, we need to go to the center, and we need to go to the southeast corner. I don't know if we've seen a wooden bench, there's stone benches. Oh! Well, <laughs> here it is. Just as described, a piece of the plaque seems to have been kicked, uh, kicked under the bench and forgotten. This will get put you part of the way there. Sweet! Well, that's done. I was just trying to get to the southeast corner. Oh, is that it? No, that can't be it. That's just a mound of... Actually, that might be it. Is this it? Oh my gosh, it is. Buried beneath a heaping of snow, you finally managed to find a hunk of stone. Thank you! And the tree at the center. Was the statue not the center? This is not tree at the center. No, this is like a bottom corner. Excuse me, buddy. You know where a tree is? Actually, there's plenty of trees around here. Ah, this one! There we go, the tallest one. Wedged under the tree's forking roots lies a jagged piece of stone. Indeed, that will do. That looks like the last piece of the plaque. I'll have to reassemble them at the stag statue if I want to make sense of this. Ooh, okie dokie, are we gonna have to go get that mending stuff again? Please no. <laughs> Please no. The nobles of the court seem to have nothing but time on their hands. Perhaps some of them know the secrets of the statue. Yep, the marble plaque waits. You snap the broken chunks of marble back into place. Despite some marring on the surface, you can read the plaque quite clearly. The buck and the stag, a tale of two princes, only one destined to be rightful heir and ruler. The king will be revealed by the touch of the truest crystal flower. It looks like the stag is trying to cut his dear brother out of this out of his birthright. I wonder what's the business with the crystal flower? The buck knows his way around a garden. Perhaps he'll have some idea. Oh little brother, little brother buck. Flicking his ears, the young gardener puts his pruning shears down at your approach. Hello again! Lovely day for a walk in the hedge maze. Granted you don't get lost. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about a crystal flower, would you? 
crystal flowers? Why, they're very, very rare. It's said they only grow in a cave at the highest peak of the mountain. According to a legend, the truth of one's heart is refracted in the facets of each fr of each frosted petal. Why do you ask? No reason. I just thought one might make a nice gift for your brother's big day. Hey, you're right. That's a brilliant idea. What better gift from the court's gardener than a beautiful crystal flower? Oh, but the trek up the mountain is perilous. I don't know if if I don't know if I have what it takes. Nonsense. I was heading up that way anyways. You just stay close behind. Really? You'd help me. Well, all right. What are we waiting for then? Meet me out by the by slope by slopes and we'll get underway. I was gonna say by the slopes. I can't tell if I can't English or there's typos in the game. Uh, help the Belkis in the mountain. By the slopes. I'm assuming I can't hit them. Oh, what did I do? Uh. Yeah, this is all cooped up, so I have to go out. I was wondering if there was a way up, maybe, but no. All right, bye, losers. Enjoy your feast. Let's see how long that lasts. Mm, oh, the guard's not here anymore. Am I already out? No, I'm not out. That's why. <laughs> I was like, wait, where's the guard? There he is. The slopes. Uh, I guess no. It's the only thing that makes sense. Excuse me, doggy. Oh, well, that's not it. Is that it? Oh, there's so many foxes here. Mm, that's not it. The slopes, the slopes. Where would the slopes be? Oh, hey, what are you doing? You see the buck hiding behind a bush, anxiously watching something up ahead. What's the matter? Did you get cold feet already? Shh, they'll hear you, look. Through the pine bows, boughs, bows, you can make out figures moving across the snow. They're covered in warm pelts and carry sharp-looking spears. The royal trappers! They keep my brother's court supplied with furs, but they've been out here for so long they'll hunt anything that moves. It would be a shame if those antlers of yours ended up as someone's trophy. Wait here and let me deal with them. Alright, be careful. Hello! Where are you? Oh, hello. What do you guys need? touch of cold a mountain trapper if you got hair fur or a pelt you better hide your hide <laughs> that's cute a touch of cold okay uh how do we make that what the frick is this oh my gosh we haven't seen that in so long touch of cold a catalyst for reaching beyond oneself the further you go the colder it gets useful against trappers just trappers though not useful against anything else all right, we need weird water drinks. I need to make a... Wow, I'm out of clay. Okay. So I need to go get clay. I need to get some frostlings. So I need to get more berries for frostlings. And I need to get my morphosic elixir, which means I need to get changing room, dryad fruit, which means I need to make this. Okay, I made only one. And I need to make how many of these? Two. So I need to go get some berries. I'll be back, Mr. Buck. I'll be back. Um... Yeah, I'm excited to play Wolf Among Us. The Mi Sao game is funny. <laughs> I keep dying and it's so frustrating. But I just, I'm still happy that this is like, this has been a long going series. A little too long for me even. Um, what is it, 12 parts? Just, and it's like I upload every four days for each part. So I can't wait to uh, make the changes to make it a little bit sooner for everyone too. All right, there we go. We got one. We got the two. Set the snoo. There you go. Oh, you want a snare? You can have that one. No, where are you going? No, 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 no. Come back, come back. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Look, for you. It's not going to do anything, I swear. Come on. <laughs> Stupid little bugger. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Where are they? Where are they? Hey, it is. Hey, it is. Oh. I didn't think it was going to turn them all into snowmen. You glance at the buck hiding safely behind a tree at the far side of the camp, making a raven's call. You signal for him to join you. The buck picks up his way through the frozen trappers. Are, are they going to be okay? Eh, they might catch a case of the sniffles. Nothing a nice warm bowl of soup won't fix. Come along now, we're still a ways away from the mountain's peak. I think I know the way up. I'll meet you ahead. Come join me when you're ready. 
I will. Let me just get this thing. Yes, I need more of these. And a boinky. Ooh, a chest for me. Yes, please. Ooh, frozen meat. That's good. So we go up here. Is this the way? Is this the right way? Hello! Oh, there's goats up here. Gosh, the only goat we've ever seen is a demon. Hello! Mountain goat. A shikier cousin of the familiar goat? Oh, it might be. It might be little cousin. What the frick are those? I'm sorry? Small geyser. A pressure to soap built up as to penetrate the ancient stone of the mountain. Yikes. Hello. What's up? Be careful. Why? What's going on? Oh. Before you before you stands a looming rock face. Not even the most determined climber could hope to scale it. I thought you said you knew a way up to the peak. Well, you see, this is the great geyser. When the air is so is cold enough, the water erupting from it frozen freezes solid. I thought it might give us something to climb up. You look into the dry crater at the bottom of the sh bottom of the sheer cliff. I don't see much erupting happening down there. Uh, it's been dormant for a few seasons now. I kind of hope we get lucky. I don't trust any luck that I don't make myself. You take a moment to ponder your situation, and I and the small geysers nearby, frequently spewing steam up into the frosty air. Oh. I suppose these other water spouts all, all draw from the same underground source. I think you're right. They started popping up shortly after the great geyser fell silent. Then I wager if we plug them all up, we'll be able to make the big one below its top again. Plug them? With what? You turn your attention to the bleating mountain goats digging for lichen nearby. Those frosty beasts look, those frosty beasts look about the right diameter. Maybe I can coax some of them into the position. What? <laughs> We're gonna put them in the holes? Oh, this is the opposite of a good shepherd. All right, come on, scoot your booch. How do we do it? Uh, goat perch. The frick? Okay, how do I make that? Oh, that's the last item of the spells. Aww, that's it. Oh my gosh, I have to make, oh my gosh. I have to go get milk. I have to go get two jars of milk. Which means I need to go get clay. Uh, what else do I need? I need to go get, um, dragonfly wings. Let's see. Okay, got that. Mmm. Uh, what? I just, I lost my place. Oh, this. Shiny lure, which means we need three of these. We can at least make the shiny lures, which were a pain before. We have just enough fireflies. That's good. Alright, so that's three of those. And now we just need to go get milk and fireflies, which isn't too bad. I just need to go get clay. Alright, I'll be back. You hang in there. I can't believe we're gonna put goats away. What are we gonna do? Just put their little butts on it? Poor little dudes. Man, this has to be the biggest map we've had so far. Because the walk is insane. Like, I thought the swamp was bigger or maybe the farm, but I, this one's definitely bigger. I think so. I, I, it has to be. It literally has to be because it makes no sense. Dude! I to what? What? Oh my gosh, I have to get stone? I wasn't paying attention to my stone cow? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking serious? Uh, well, I got one, so let's, here we go. No, wait, what? How does this, what? How does this work? What, what am I doing with this? Though it seems unlikely this is the perfect size for four hooves to gain purchase. Useful against mountain goats. So what, it comes over? We pick it up. Put it down. Pick it up. Oh, maybe we only need one. Wait a minute, this might work. Alright, come on. Come on. Alright, and then let's get him over here. Does that work? What do we do? Oh, Alright, is that gonna work? Ah! <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry, little goat buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. Your booty is so, I guess, warm now. You have a warm little booty. It's hot water that's coming out. Steam. Just don't over steam your butt. All right, so let's get him. Is that gonna work? There you go. Come on. All right. One more. Where is the last goat? Come here, buddy. Oh, man, you're gonna be a long walk. Come on. We gotta go uppies. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do with it? I, you're probably gonna break it, so I guess I don't want you on top of it. 
All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> They're wobbling, man. I feel so bad. All right, can you make that? No, you can't. You, you can't see it. Gosh darn it, you lazy little guy. All right, now you can make it. Come on. Oh, almost there. There we go. With the plump bodies of brain goats clogging up the small geysers, the earth beneath your feet begins to grumble. The mountain goat's eyes go wide as the pressure builds beneath them all. With no other outlet, the steam rushes towards the only opening left. With a deafening boom, the long dormant geyser erupts, sending a great spear of water high into the air. As the del delu deluge? What? As the deluge? Deluge? Reaches its apex, ice crystals begin to form in the mist, twinkling as they hang in the air. Bit by bit, they begin to build on each other, forming larger and larger crystals until it forms a great column of ice, rising all the way up towards the mountain's peak. Ha! Huh, I can't believe it worked! Last one to the top is a spotted fawn! Oh! Oh, that's so pretty! Oh, that's so cool looking! Alright, oh, we're not here yet! What on earth is this? This is massive! Oh, you stand at the mountain's peak, buffeted by wind and snow. Now then, where is this crystal cave you spoke of? I... I'm not sure. I think it should be just up ahead. But this blizzard, I can hardly see my own nose. The buck jumps behind you, pointing into the frigid fog. Wait, what was that? You squint into the galing winds, unable to see anything but white. Probably just another mountain goat? I wouldn't be so sure. When I was little, my brother told me stories of the snowkin who lived up here. He said if I ever went up the mountain, the snowkin would blow a great blizzard down on me. He said they'd turn me around and give me a false direction until I got lost and froze solid. Sounds to me like these snowkin might be some kind of guardian spirits. And if they're aiming to keep people away from something, then surely they know where that something is. I have a notion to find our way uh, wait I have a notion to find our way as they do but it will take a considerable quantity of their essence Th that sounds dangerous I'll just stay put then I know better than to wander blind in a snowstorm uh snowkin hearts snowkin hearts okay where are the snowkin that is the question who are the snowkin that is a snowkin. That is creepy. Are you kidding me? That is disgusting. Fully grown, assembled snow being. Oh, is that what they're going to turn into? The ones that are at the bottom? In a melting pot. Are you... Oh, oh the fireflies. And I have to get three of those? So I guess I have to go get some fireflies. And then we should be good, right? Because that's enough. That's enough. And then I just need to make six traps. So let's get busy with that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. Okay. I'll be back for you, my pretty. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, it's a blood fest. Oh, it's a blood fest everywhere. Oh, come on. That would have been so perfect if it kept going. Come on, one more, one more, one more, please. <laughs> Just a boo, 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 exploding birds all around. Come on, there we go. All right, you creepy buggers, it's time for your time. Yeah, it's time for you to die. There we go. Did I do it? Ooh, that's so creepy, man. They're terrifying. Anymore? Come on, I'm not afraid. Show yourself. Let me let me collect these little peppers. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah, explode. They have a pretty heart, though. I can't lie. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's more. Uh oh, uh oh. I please don't kill me. Got him. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. All right, now what do I do with them? Do I just what? What's the use? What? Let's we'll see. I don't even have them. What? Do I just go back to the buck? Was, oh, uh, excuse me. Please, please. Gosh, you're weird. You're so weird. You're weird and creepy and weird, bro. Is the buck down here? Oh, there he is. I got him. Look, see how this snow swirls in strange directions? Maybe the snow can know the path. It will require some icy interrogations. Oh, yeah, totally. 
You pile the mystical snow at the buck's feet and shield it from the howling winds. The flakes drift in the air like icy glitter. Oh, come on then. I'm getting chilly. You prod the snow drift with a muttered invocation. Despite the chaotic storm, the snow crystals swirl into an icy ribbon and slowly trace a line up the mountain's peak. There it goes. That must be the way to the crystal cave. He takes off after the trail like a shot. You hike up your skirt and do your best to keep up with the dense snow. It is time, shall we? Oh! He took us here, easily. His face falls as you arrive at another sheer cliff. I don't understand. The snow stops here, but there isn't anything more than rocks. Did the snow can mislead us? Are we lost? I don't want to freeze solid. This is no dead end. Look. You gesture the cli to the cliff where the eddies of swirling snow quickly gather. Within moments, the entire wall of rock is buried under fresh white powder. You reach out cl a clawed finger and touch the pure snow. It melts away to reveal a glittering opening in the stone. The crystal cave! You did it! Let's go in before we freeze to death. I'm certain the crystal flower must be inside. Oh. Oh, pick the crystal flower. Whoa, there's so many! Oh dear, look at all these flowers. I didn't think there would be so many. I'm going to pick a whole bouquet. You stop the impetus, imp, impetuous youth with a quick tug and mutter beneath your breath. Hold on. The prophecy mentioned the one true crystal flower. These other flowers must be a deception meant to trap foolheartedly would-be kings. Prophecy? What are you talking about? Uh, I only mean to say that we should be, we should find the best single flower for your brother's coronation. Hmm, good point. Quality over quantity. Aha, I think I see just the one right over there. Oh, you found one, did you know? Gosh, this place is beautiful. It's this one. It's perfect. Just look at the refraction of the petals and the frosting on the leaves. Oh, but I seem to have forgotten my pruning shears back at the castle. Would you do the honors? I don't want to damage it. Oh, I'm going to cut it? Are you sure? I, I mean, I don't want to turn it into a crystal now. Or do I give it to you? Do I really? Do it. Uh. Oh. You snip the brittle stem of the flower. Careful not to touch it directly. Yeah. Prophecies can be nasty stuff to stick your fingers in. The buck holds the flower aloft, inhaling the blossom's magical aura. Wow, smells just like powdered snow on fresh pine trees. The moment is interrupted by the shrill cries of aristocrats clamoring against each other. Why are they here? How did they make it up here? I found them! Over here, my lord! What? What do you mean? What do you... In a rush of colorful fabrics and fancy hats, you find yourself surrounded by nobles. The stag steps out from their midst, looking irate. After everything I've done for you, this is how you repay me, brother. The young prince blinks in confusion. What are you doing here? Have I offended you somehow? A serper. A, a serper? What is that word? You thought you could slip off when I wasn't looking and steal the crown from me? You think I don't know about the prophecy of the crystal flower? Why does everyone keep talking about a prophecy? <laughs> I picked this flower as a gift for you, brother. Fool! Only the king can choose the true crystal flower, and you are not the king. The stag reaches down at its feet and plucks the closest flower. See? Only I can- Oh. Who? Oh, he's- <laughs> He's like- Uh-oh. <laughs> he turned into a cr He looks like he's actually frozen. The stag never finishes his sentence, his defiant pose forever imprisoned inside solid ice. Oh, it is ice. Oh, my brother, what have you done? You give the mystified buck a reassuring pat on the back as the nobles gather closer. The true king has been revealed indeed. King? You mean me? You are the prince after all, and I suppose that prophecy was pretty clear. Magic flowers are seldom wrong about this sort of thing. And if you tend to your kingdom with the same care you tend to your garden, you'll do just fine. Aww. The ring of nobles crowd around the buck. You know, I never cared much for that stag myself. I think the new ruler will shake things up a bit. You excuse yourself as they bow and praise the confused lad. Long live the king! Passing the frozen stag, your eye catches on something sticking out of the permafrost. Oh, he's king now. That's so cute. Oh, I can't talk to him anymore? Never doubted you for a moment. Oh, sure, sure, buddy. You reach down and pick out a shard from of translucent ice. 
careful not to cut yourself on the sharp edges. Despite the warmth of your plan, it does not melt the soul of the stag. And that's the last chapter! The souls of the stag, hawk, hogs, and wolf rattle inside your pack like angry insects. That's the last one. Uh, that's the last of these villains. Now it's time to put an end to this wretched business with the goat. Ah, goodbye. Oh, that's the last one. That's crazy. I can't believe it. It's been so long. Can I talk to him one more time? I want to. He was. Oh, there we go. I, wow, this is all too much. <laughs> Hail the king. I mean, that's cool though. He looks freaking dope up here. Let me get the teleporter, right? We can make a, uh, where is it? Yeah, let's make the heart seed. Cause you are joking if you were gonna catch me walking all the way back. Time to go home. Let's go. <sighs> and that's all 12 souls we've caught. Oh my goodness, dude. All right, wow, are we fast? We are zooming. Are we, am I crazy or are we moving? Maybe this place is just really small. Oh, Mr. Goat, are you here? Mr. Goat? Hello? Oh yes, he is here, waiting for me. The goat paused the floor with a cloven hoof. You've returned. I was beginning to grow impatient. I would have thought patience to be one of your strong suits, but don't fret. I have brought you the last of your souls. Delicious. Are they not? You know what to do. Alright, fine. Shrine always offering the golden feather. Shimmering sensations of the hawk wash over you. The nib of a quill scratching on parchment coins clinking. The sharp snap of, closing, of a closing padlock. Ew, greasy gristle! Your eyes wa- oh my gosh, so ugly. Your eyes water at the smell of the hogs, grunting swine and buzzing flies. A cleaver falls onto a wooden block. Blood, bone, meat. The royal crystal. A chill runs through your fingers as the stag sockets into the wall, condescending laughter, schemes in the snow, pride, arrogance, hubris. We didn't really see much of the stag. He, we probably had like two conversations with him comparing to all the other villains. I guess the leech we barely talked to as well. And the snake. Well, thing. And the, and the, you know what? A lot of them we barely talked to. I think it was the rare ones we talked to a lot. Your mind sinks into the shadow in it, the presence of the wolf. Soft footfalls padding through dried leaves. Hot breath. Ugh. Big eyes. Sharp teeth. What sharp teeth you have? Oh, look at it. Return. Oh. The collected souls vibrate with incandescent intensity. They seem to melt into the recess, boiling away into tiny pinpricks of starlight. Soon, nothing remains of them except twelve smoldering scorch marks on the stone wall. Ah, well done. That's that. Our contract is fulfilled. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Hang on. What about your end of the deal? You said you would return my memories to me. Did I? Well, perhaps I misspoke. You never really had any to begin with, my dear. What are you talking about? I just don't remember them. I woke up and... And met me? Yes, that sounds about right for your very first memory. What? But you told me that I brought this sleeping maiden to you. That I asked you to save her soul. Oh, what I meant to say is that she came to me. She asked me to save her own soul. But it's so very easy to get confused. You... Her? Really? What's the difference? Oh, we are her! Dawning realization creeps over you like ice water. Her life was cut short, whether by the wolf's fangs or the hog's cleaver, or under the weight of a dozen other wrongs, I do not know. But in desperation, she called out to me, so we struck a deal. I would save her soul in exchange of theirs, one for twelve. But it's not like I could let her go and collect them herself. She needed to stay here, you see, as insurance. So, so what then? You, you created me? Is that it? To collect those souls on her behalf? Well, I should say that she created you. Snipped off a piece of herself into it. it wait, snipped a piece of, uh, snipped off a piece of herself? What? Her hair? Maybe? Or whatever's under this? It was all worked out in the contract, of course. And now that the contract is fulfilled, hand out nicely for everyone, I'd say. So, if you, by which I mean she, 
ever need to get out of another bind, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Ta-ta for now! Whoa! The room fills with a flash of blinding light. You blink and the goat is gone, leaving only a goat-shaped hole in the world. Oh! Slowly, you turn to the face of the sleeping maiden. You feel sluggish and heavy. You take a strange step towards the gilded coffin. Your legs snap like dried twigs and you crumple to the floor. Oh, our eyes are out! Oh, that gives me chills! The cauldron is the last to fall. It resounds with a hollow clang as it bounces off the ground. No! I don't like it! I don't like it at all! Oh, she's awake! You slowly open your eyes and see the vaulted ceiling of the hall. Yeah, we are the witch. You raise your hand to touch the clear crystal surface of the gilded casket. The glass lid slides open effortlessly as you swing your legs to sit up. The marble floor is smooth and cold under your bare feet. You stoop down to pick up the familiar metal cauldron. So she has the memories of what we were as a witch, so we just like transferred bodies. Slowly, memories come back at its touch. Aww. Oh, there's our book too. So we were her. <sighs> That's so cool. Thank you for playing Witchwood. That's such a good ending in my opinion. I remember when I first played this game years ago, I was like shocked at the ending. I was not expecting it at all. I thought it was like her daughter or something. Aww. Oh, that's so good. It's so, so, so good. Oh, what a great game. I love it so much. I'm a big game. I'm a big fan of like Taskmaster games um, where you just like repetitively do stuff. It like makes my brain just go and makes me so happy. So like this game, whenever I first played it, oh, it was so good. I'm really glad I, I came back to it and even made like a little video series of it because it was... It was definitely such a nice experience. Oh, I'm going to miss this game so much. But now we have the memories of it um, on this channel. <sighs> well, on to the next one, right? <laughs> next one, we're probably going to do Wolf Among Us. And we're going to continue Me Sal. But this was such an amazing experience. I appreciate all you people who have watched through it. If you even started on part one, I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. You have no idea how much that means to me. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you didn't, I hope you enjoyed the next thing that we do. All right. Thank you guys truly for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And just showing this account so much support. Really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next game. All right. Bye, guys. Have a blessed day.